Updating you with the Unichain airdrop tutorial, we are back with part two of this series where we will show you over 10 plus protocols in the Unichain ecosystem to transact, stack up volume and hopefully qualify for their enormous airdrop. So before we begin, don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button and let's dive straight into it. To begin with, we're going to be using Uniswap, the leading decentralized exchange and of course where Unichain derived from. If we head over to where it says bridge to Unichain, this will take us over to the Uniswap user interface. If you haven't already got Ethereum tokens on the Unichain network, then you're going to need to watch part one of our airdrop tutorial series. Nonetheless, assuming that you've already got Ethereum in your Unichain wallet, as you can see, I've got my 0.61 ETH in my wallet. What we're going to be doing is we're now going to be using the same wallet on the Unichain deck. So as you can see, we can get started. If you have got a Uniswap wallet, even better, I'm pretty sure you will obviously help yourself qualify for a bigger airdrop. But we'll get into that at a later date. But for now, guys, as you can see, once we're here, we want to first swap some tokens. This is the first step in qualifying for the airdrop. And we can also use one of the top super chain tokens, and that is right now the USDT0 stablecoin, which should also help us qualify for layer zero. So for example, we can narrow down the network to the Unichain. As we can see here, we can see the top tokens by 24 hour volume and USDT0 is one of them. So I'm going to do this one. And let's just say, for example, I did, I don't know, 0.007 USDT0. That's going to get me $12.41. I know it's just a small transaction, guys, but this is just a tutorial, so please bear that in mind. Nothing I do or say is financial advice. However, I'm going to swap these tokens, and that is going to be one transaction and roughly $13 worth of volume on the Unichain network and on the Uniswap DEX. Next step, once we've got this, guys, we can now provide liquidity. And I personally believe providing liquidity on Uniswap is vital in order to qualify for the airdrop, as their main focus is to unify liquidity. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head over to the pool section. I'm going to see create position and I'm going to choose ETH with my other token pair being USDT0 and I want to narrow it down by Unichain. I'm going to choose USDT0, no problem, and I'm going to choose Unichain ETH in order to provide liquidity. So once we've got our tokens, as you can see, we need to now choose the fee tier. It depends on what you want to do. If we choose 0.05%, we have an APR of 102%, which is incredible. Obviously, it's variable and comes with different risks. You can do it according to your risk tolerance. Obviously, guys, it's entirely up to you and you can check out all the TVLs associated with them. But this pair has $13.8 million. So I'm comfortable with this one right now. And from here, we just want to choose an amount of tokens. I'm going to choose my entire amount of USDT0 and as you can see straight away, it will balance out the amount of Ethereum that we need at the same time. So once you're ready, you click review and off you go, you create the pair, obviously if you are comfortable. Now, we did Uniswap first because this is the main protocol of the Unichain ecosystem, obviously, and therefore by swapping and providing liquidity on this platform being my number one priority. Why it's my number one priority is because it just makes sense that this would be the main focus of the Unichain airdrop, obviously swapping, conducting transactions and providing as much liquidity as possible and strengthening the ecosystem. However, guys, once we've done this, we are now going to move on to the next protocol. But if you want to always look at your positions, you can head over to the pool section and go to the positions and down here if you narrow it down by unichain as you can see i have got a position of 27 dollars and seven cents on unichain however next up we've got velodrome another leading decentralized exchange on the optimism network and seeming as the unichain is obviously part of the super chain ecosystem it would make sense that velodrome is a key player in this ecosystem so we're here to use it and i'm just going to swap some tokens but let's just confirm we've got our ethereum up top on the unichain network which we can confirm here next we're going to go down and choose a token to swap into it could be anything we want so for example if we wanted usdc we could come over here and swap usdc if we wanted more usdt zero we can swap usdt zero on unichain so if for example i wanted to swap 0.01 again at 17 dollars and 72 cents i would swap the tokens and boom you would get another transaction done and more volume stacked up this is another contract interaction and of course this is going to help you with unichain this is the whole point of the tutorial after that guys you can provide liquidity it's entirely up to you they have so many liquidity pools and you can narrow it down by unichain of course it's entirely up to you and this will help you to qualify for the airdrop once again Nonetheless, moving on to the next protocol, which is going to be number three, and this is going to be a cross. This is going to be a bridge. This time we're now going to switch it up and we're going to use another kind of protocol and therefore we can now bridge from Unichain to another network. So we want to utilize as many different decentralized applications as possible. So I'm now going to bridge some of my Ethereum tokens from the Unichain to another network. 
I'm moving my tokens out of the unit chain, but I can always move them back in. This is only because I want to have another contract interaction on the unit chain network. However, the choice is yours. You don't have to do this. But from unit chain, I'm going to bridge to another network. And this time, let's just say we bridge to another super chain network, because of course, that will help us for an airdrop. We are also focusing on Sonium, which you can watch tutorials on our YouTube channel. Nonetheless, we are going to now choose an amount. And let's just say I did 0.1, roughly $177. So this is obviously a nice transaction that was easy to do and we are now going to move on to the next protocol which is going to be Jumper Exchange and we've got an airdrop tutorial for Jumper as well so if you want to check that out you can check it out on our YouTube channel nonetheless you want to use the same wallet that you've been using this is compatible with Unichain and what we're going to do is we're going to go to the From section and we're going to choose Unichain now the best part is guys is that we can very simply just swap tokens back and forth and we can also bridge this is an aggregator of which enables us to swap and bridge across multiple different networks both layer ones and layer twos and therefore this is another great choice of which can help you for airdrop farming so i'm going to do ethereum on unichain and i'm going to do a simple swap to start with let's just swap into usdc i'm going to choose an amount let's just say i did another 0.1 that's going to be 177 dollars utilizing the lifi dex aggregator another airdrop and yes we have that airdrop tutorial on our youtube channel for you to check out but I'm going to start swapping. It's going to be another lovely transaction with a nice bit of volume to add on to my list. And of course, another contract interaction, aka another decentralized application we've used. Boom, that is done. Finished and easy. So that is one swapping transaction on the Jumper Exchange. If, for example, you now wanted to bridge some tokens from the Unichain to another network, you would just keep your ETH here or another token. It's entirely up to you. We could even bridge USDC, but let's just stick with ETH. And let's just say now you wanted to choose another network. Let's just choose base, another super chain network. So I'm going to bridge to Ethereum tokens once again, and I'm going to choose an amount. Let's just say this time we did 0.07, $124. I'm going to review the bridge. You can choose across here, or you can either choose choose Mayan, Relay or Symbiosis guys, these are different options of which you can choose. I'm going to actually choose the Relay Bridge because I want to stack up volume on Relay, another airdrop we can qualify for by checking out that tutorial. So I'm going to bridge these over as well, another transaction and more beautiful volume to add onto my list. Now I'm going to show you all of the volume at the end of the video and all of the transactions and how to check it. But for now, we're just going to wait for this transaction to complete and we've shown you how to swap and bridge on Jumper Exchange. Next up, we have Open Ocean, a decentralized exchange aggregator for us to swap and bridge tokens. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the same wallet. We're now going to confirm we're on Unichain up top, as you can see, and we're now going to swap some tokens. So I'm going to swap into USDC once again. Why not? And it's going to be nice and easy. You can also change it into any other token you like. But for an example, guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to now swap around $35 on the Open Ocean platform. I know it's not as much as before, but this is just a tutorial. So I'm going to do a quick swap and boom, the transaction has been sent and we've officially got more USDC. Lovely. Next up, we have the Bungie Exchange, of which is another decentralized exchange aggregator, enabling us to swap and bridge from multiple networks. So you're going to use the same wallet once again, if of course you want to. What I'm going to do is I'm going to filter it down by the Unichain, obviously, as we can see here. I've got my USDC and I can obviously go down to the Unichain. I can do a native swap or I can do a bridge. But for now, let's just say we want to swap into more USDC. Why not? We're going to swap 0.07, again, roughly $123. Once you're happy, you very simply do a nice, easy swap. Boom, so easy and so quick. This time, what I'm going to do is, guys, I'm going to mix it up a little, and I'm actually going to bridge from the Optimism Network, the main super chain network of the ecosystem, and I'm going to bridge some Ethereum tokens over to Unichain. It could be as much as you like, guys. Obviously, everything you do is the choice is entirely yours. But let's just say, for example, I did 0.007, and I'm going to bridge it into ethereum tokens and as you can see here we'll get twelve dollars and forty cents so i'm going to review it i'm going to be happy to switch over to optimism and bridge over my tokens nice and easy and this is just an extra little thing that you can do the choice is completely yours but this is exactly what i'm doing now i am bridging to and from the unichain network just to help my transactional volume on all these super chain networks however guys that is the bungee exchange and we are now going to move on to the next and this is going to be gas.zip another fan fantastic protocol that I love using it is a refueling platform of which if you don't have any gas tokens on any network, you can get them in a matter of seconds with such ease. So for example, guys, 
assets. If you didn't have any assets on the Unichain, you can bridge over to the Unichain. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my Unichain network in order to bridge to some networks down below. So for example, if for example, I wanted to go to the left hand side and choose the base network, the Arbitrum network, the Optimism network and the Sonium network, I could bridge to four networks in one transaction by simply choosing an amount. And as you can see here, it's going to send $5 to each of these networks in gas tokens. So basically, I'll receive Ethereum tokens on Arbitrum, Base, Optimism and Sonium. You can do so many different networks, guys. And all you need to do is very simply send the transaction once you are happy. And boom, that is four transactions in one. And it is absolutely beautiful because it will help you stack up that volume and obviously help interact with other super chain networks and other layer two or layer one blockchains. So that is that. That is another four in one transaction and another airdrop we could potentially qualify for gas.zip. And we've got an airdrop tutorial on our channel if you want to check that out. Up next, we have Synapse. And the only thing we can do with Unichain on Synapse is only bridging. In the future, we'll be able to swap tokens. But for now, this feature is unavailable. However, you can very simply bridge tokens to and from. So let's just say this time I bridged from the base network. This time, guys, what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose an amount of ETH to bridge over to Unichain. Let's just say I did 0.04. I'm going to very simply have around 0.0039 ETH on the Unichain network after this transaction. So once I do it, we'll see that roughly $70 is going to bridge over to the Unichain network from the base network, confirming a transaction on the base network. But overall, we are bridging assets into Unichain. So hopefully, all in all, that should help us for the Unichain airdrop. Now, I've done that transaction, so we can now complete that step and move on to the next application. And this is going to be one of my favorites known as Stargate Finance, because we use this to qualify for layer zero, of which we have the round two airdrop tutorial on our YouTube channel. This is a fantastic protocol in order to help you for two in one airdrops as well. And therefore, we're going to bridge from the Unichain network up top. As you can see, you can choose Unichain by scrolling down and choosing Unichain. We can bridge any of these tokens. So I'm going to use my Ethereum tokens or USDT zero tokens tokens and for example now we can bridge to another network let's just say it was the op mainnet i'm going to bridge every single one of my usdt zero i'm going to transfer the tokens obviously being comfortable with it and boom that is another transaction of which is going to help us qualify for two airdrops in one lovely and it is more volume and it is another interaction with another application Lovely. Up next, we have another extremely popular super chain bridge of which is called Brid.gg. If we use the same wallet, what we're going to do is we're going to bridge to or from Unichain. It's entirely up to you. If you want to bridge from Unichain to another network such as Base, for example, all you would do is choose an amount, boom, review the transaction. If you're comfortable and happy with it, send it off and it will go to the Base network. Now, that is another one to check off the list. And that was number 10, moving on to the 11th protocol. And this is Compound finance enabling us to provide assets in order to earn yield and of course help us to qualify for the airdrop it's entirely up to you guys i've left this at the end because this is more of a intermediate part of the quests however you can very simply input an amount there comes more risk with this but if you want to put for example usdc you can supply usdc as much as you like it could be as little as three dollars you would just add it and then off you go you have supplied assets to the compound platform of which you are going to earn another transaction and some more volume so friends we have basically gone through 11 different protocols in this video although we could actually provide you with more we think this is enough for you guys to use throughout the week and repeatedly use this method in order to help yourselves qualify for a massive unit chain airdrop now i've interacted with 11 protocols in such a short time of which will enable you to help stack up transactions build volume and obviously utilize as many different decentralized applications as possible now i've only gone through 11 and if you go over to the ecosystem on the Unichain page. As you can see over here, we have got so many other different applications of which there's around over 100 different protocols. So obviously, guys, take a look at ones that you would like to use, ones that you'd be happy using, obviously, in the Unichain ecosystem. Explore at your own means and, of course, do your own research and use a burner wallet if you feel more comfortable. However, like I said, guys, I promised you that I would show you how to check out your transactions and volume so that at the end of every week or even at the end of every day that you're using the Unichain ecosystem products, you can, of course, check your transaction and volume count and even smart contract interactions. So where we are on Wenzo right now, if you go to where it says linear or wherever a network it may be, if you scroll down, you can see we've got the Unichain. Next, you want to go into the wallet that you've been using the Unichain on. You want to go to where your wallet address is, 
and you want to copy that and now paste it in that section down below in order to check your wallet address. Give it a second guys and you'll see all of your statistics pop up. Now, we have got a balance, we've got our volume, we've got the native transactions, token transactions, interactions, so the total contract interactions and unique. We've also got the amount that we bridged, the wallet age, the unique days, weeks and months that we've used Unichain. Now, what you can do guys is actually simulate it like an Arbitrum or Starknet airdrop. So for example, if it was to follow the same specs as the Arbitrum airdrop, would I qualify? Right now, I've only ticked four out of X amount of boxes. So realistically, I probably wouldn't even qualify right now. And therefore, I would need to tick off as many as different possible. So realistically, guys, my targets, what are my targets? Well, a minimum of $1,000 at least, because I believe that volume is going to be a key indicator. I also believe a minimum of 100 transactions on Unichain will be vital, mainly focusing on the native transactions. Don't really worry about the token transactions. Obviously, you utilizing the network as many unique days and weeks and months as possible and therefore if you use Unichain at least once a day you are definitely going to help yourself. Also, another thing is to bridge as much as possible into Unichain, obviously as much as you possibly can afford, but don't really stress too much about that. And one thing that obviously I personally am very strongly believing is that the fact that liquidity is going to be a key, key method of which we need to qualify for the Unichain airdrop. So of course, if you can provide liquidity like we did show you earlier in Uniswap, then of course you can provide liquidity and help yourself better with an airdrop. Now, of course, nothing we say in this video is financial advice, we are not financial advice advisors but guys in this video we've covered so many different protocols we covered uniswap we covered velodrome we covered across we covered jumper we covered open ocean bungee gas.zip synapse stargate finance compound and in the future we'll be back with many more different protocols and of course showing you our other airdrop routes that we take in the unichain ecosystem but guys thank you once again if you've enjoyed it please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button because it really shows support to our channel we're almost at 1000 subscribers and we're so happy but guys we can't wait to see you in the next video